I wanted to just briefly introduce Starburst. If there's anybody in the audience that is new to who we are and what we do, uh, I thought I'd give you a really quick uh, overview before we dive in and perhaps even clear up some misconceptions uh, about Starburst itself. Uh, one of those misconceptions is a lot of people think about us as a federation engine, and that is true that we can, we can federate queries. Uh, it is something that makes us unique and really differentiates us from others in the market. Uh, but the truth is, for those who are building a data lake or more of a lake house model, that's always been by far, by volume, our biggest use case. And uh, you can see here, we collect a lot of interesting telemetry about how our product is used. And because we're connected to so many different data sources, we can see what are the most popular connectors. And we have nearly 50 different connectors. So this is a very long list and a very long tail that you don't even see on this chart. But these are the top 10, and the Great Lakes connector is our connector for all of the different variations of a data lake, whether that is Hadoop or S3 or Azure Data Lake, Google Cloud Storage, Object Storage on-prem, uh, you know, supporting Iceberg and Hootie and Delta Lake and a variety of different uh, file formats. Uh, and you can see by more than 100x or roughly 100x, it's, it's the most popular connector in use today. So I uh, just wanted to remind the audience that if you're trying to build a lake house, uh, that's what we've been doing really since the beginning when my co-founders created the technology at Facebook and ran this on one of the largest data lakes in history. The other big misconception is a lot of people think about us as purely the Trino company, and that is, again, also uh, very core to who we are. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we are the leading contributors to the open source project, and Trino itself is a fast, distributed, ANSI SQL processing engine, and that 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 is a game changer uh, by itself. But Starburst it's, uh, as a product, as a platform, is actually quite a bit more than that. Uh, in particular, we include enterprise-grade governance, access controls, very fine-grained, row-level, column-level data masking, uh, query auditing, uh, working with some of the most regulated industries in the world uh, and providing that level of security. And we also set you up to do things that you've never been able to maybe do before with the traditional data warehouse model. Uh, in particular, you can actually discover uh, the data that you have um, before even moving it. Uh, and we've just launched some new features in our Galaxy product that allow you to explore all the different catalogs that you have, perform schema discovery, and do something called global search, which uh, Allison will touch on in uh, the next session after this as she goes into our product vision. Secondly, you can then optimize where your data is stored. And the reason I specifically like to talk about optimization is because the old model has always been about moving the data first, and then you can do things with it. And, and really, with Starburst, you can discover your data, you know, look at your data, decide what you want to do with your data, even query your data before you even move it. And moving it then becomes an optimization decision, not a prerequisite uh, to doing analytics. And when I say optimization, what I mean is you can choose the right storage platform for you to optimize for your performance or cost requirements. And that's, that's really turning the data warehousing model inside out. Uh, you know, third, we help onboard the data. You know, one of the most popular emerging use cases is leveraging DBT to create a transformation that then gets executed by Trino. Uh, and uh, we also just added support for the Python ecosystem. Uh, and you'll learn uh, more about both of these uh, later in other sessions. Uh, and then lastly, about consumption. You know, at the end of the day, consumption is where the magic happens. That is the business value that you or your teams are deriving from the data that you have. And we've always wanted to support all of the different uh, BI tools and visualization tools that exist out there. Uh, and in particular, have made a lot of investments in this concept of data products. And I certainly encourage you to listen to some of the later sessions around data products and how we ultimately are able to transform, curate, and share these gold standard data sets you know, within minutes to your organization. And these are not just tables in a database, of course. They can actually span multiple databases, which is what makes Starburst data products so interesting. So you'll learn a lot more about that uh, later on. Uh, and with that, I'm, oh, actually one more thing. We also work across every possible industry. And you can see some great examples of uh, customers that we work with in financial services, consumer, healthcare, technology, uh, and telecommunications. So. Mm -hmm.